All right, we're going to add these three vectors, um, 20 centimeters north, 3.5 centimeters west, 5 centimeters south, 7 centimeters east, and then again 5 centimeters south. And we're going to do it graphically on the graph paper, which means we're going to draw out the vectors and add them. And the way we do that is by adding them tip to tail. So let me draw this first one real quick. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So... We draw our first vector is 20 meters north, and then to put the second one on, we're going to put the tail of that vector at the tip of the very first vector we drew, and we're going to draw 3.5 centimeters to the west, and then from there we're going to draw 5 centimeters south, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then from there, we're going to go 7 centimeters to the east, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And notice how for every vector, we're going tip to tail, tip to tail, one vector right after the other. From there, we're going to do our last vector, 5 centimeters south, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, once we have that drawn, we need to put in what's called our resultant vector. So I'm going to do that one in blue. Um, so we'll take a straight edge, and we're going to draw a line connecting um, the very beginning of our first vector to the very end of our last vector. <coughs> so as we draw that in, then we're going to draw an arrow showing which way that points. And this we're going to call a resultant. Now, it doesn't do too much for us um, to have this vector and not know how long it is, so we're going to take just the same, the same centimeter graph paper and, and go ahead and count <clears throat> and see how long it is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it looks like 10 and a half. So our resultant vector is 10.5 centimeters, but we're not done yet, because if we want that to be a vector, we're going to need the magnitude, which is the length of the vector, as well as the direction. So we're going to take our protractor, hold it up like this, <clears throat> and 90 degrees is pointing to the north, uh, 0 degrees over here is pointing to uh, the east, so we're going to count it, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 degrees, so at... 70 degrees, and that's starting off east and going north from there. So what we say is that we moved north of east. If you wanted to, you could also start off from north and move to the east. That's just going to be a different angle. So if we start off to the north, you moved 20 degrees east of north. Either one of those that you, you, you report is fine, but when we when we talk about our resultant vector, it needs to have both the magnitude and the direction included along with it. 